welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video today video the topic how to be more confident is a really really important uh, video that I really want to do for so long one identify your issue identify your insecurity we all have something that is make us not do thing because we are so insecure about it it could be your weight it could be how you speak it could be anything for me one thing that i know that make me stop doing things is because i'm shy you're probably going to be like how are you shy and you are in social media so speaking in the public is really scary i don't like it and it scared me so what did i do i went ahead and open a YouTube channel. Oh, that going to help me. But the thing is, the more I do this, the better I become and less scary. So I don't think about it more because I'm doing this more often. So I'm tr training my brain not to be scared or not to keep reminding me to not do this, not do it. So your fear, what is it that you fear the most? Fear that people will judge me because there are a lot of people that have an opinion on everything. But I keep telling myself that people's judgment is their judgment. What they think of you is their opinion. It does not determine who I am and will not make me who they think I am. So that I eliminate that completely. So I try to not think about what people will think of me and what I, what I am doing is to help people so I feel like sometimes we fear what other will say or how, how they will judge us so that is what I do tackle your fear if you're scared of height try to do a little baby step little baby step and you will get there so when we train our brain that we tell our brain whatever that make us scared it's not that bad and your brain will completely stop from taking you there again so what is it that made you feel the best of you we all want the best for ourselves the best anything that make you feel comfortable is make you feel happy sometimes listening to good music it make me feel good or doing my nail make me feel good to going to gym that made me feel good i feel that i'm doing something for myself so those things make me feel really good so do things that make you feel the best and also remember to be kind to yourself as anybody that will try to bring you down or make you feel worse those people should not be in your life we should cut them like nip 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 cut them let them go so maybe that's why i am who i am because i don't want negativity around me i want people who bring positive into my life i want people who make me feel good about myself people who have ambitious people who talk about life in a good way sometimes family member can make you feel really bad so you can love them from distance you know keep people in your life that make you feel good and you are the best version of yourself when you are around them so number four it's so important like i can't stress this enough or stop comparing yourself we do this a lot without even knowing comparison is the worst thing you can do if you want to make yourself better we are all so different in, the, in, in terms of how God created us and we are all different in so many ways. Even your sibling, you will never be exactly the same as your brother or as your sister. We are so unique. So why are you comparing yourself to people that you don't know? Probably just see them or they just come uh, across your life and you see them where they are. Don't compare your life to other people's life. Don't compare whatever you have with other people because we are all so blessed in different ways. Sometimes when we so caught up on how the people think, we forget about what we have. 
and we should be so grateful with what God already put in our life or God already blessed us with. We each are blessing, but when we so focus on other people, we sometimes forget about what we have and how grateful we are. And because of envy and jealousy, sometimes we delay our blessing. He cannot give you what you think you want. God already know what we want. So be grateful of whatever you have. It's a little or a lot. Just be happy with it. And God will bless you even more. So stop comparing your life, yourself with anybody. Don't. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Number five is prioritize yourself and your need. When I say prioritize, it's how you take care of yourself. How you put yourself first. When you look good, you feel good. And everything around you will be brighter and will be easy and happier. So when you take care of yourself when you put yourself first it's so important sometimes people who prioritize themselves they be called selfish because they know they put themselves first nothing wrong to feel confident it's not arrogant when you know that you are looking good you do things for you first you will have a time to do it for other people too right because you are good you are being taken care of Definitely, you will be taking care of other people. So prioritize your care, your need. So, so number six is your appearance. Your appearance matter a lot, way more than you think. So how we care ourselves is tell a lot about who we are. How you wear your clothes is also tell a lot about, about your personality. So as human. We verbally communicate with our clothes so around or how we go about our day. So verbal communication is so powerful and it tell a lot about who we are. Sometimes your attitude can change based on what you have on. Dress a certain way, you will attract different people. So if you always attracting people that you keep scratching your head why maybe change the way how you dress how you talk how you carry yourself and you will see your energy that you project out will attract different kind of people so we take care of ourselves we put on some good clothes it make us feel different and even our attitude will change number seven is a mindset Mindset is what is why we do what we do. When you set your goal or when you set up your life, that's what will drive you to be who you are. Sometimes we are driven by other people's success and those people thrive because they set some goal for themselves. You can too. You can set goal for yourself. 2022 is so you can set a goal and those goals will be will drive you to get there you have a goal and then you work toward your goal it's easy to get there there are five benefit of positive thinking i'm gonna put them one better stress coping it will give you a good way to cope with stress two better mental health because your your mindset is so important three better physical health, for better social life, and more success. When we set our mind, all these five things will fall into category. And those things will drive us because we have control of our thinking, how we deal with things. So those are the things that I want to share with you, beautiful people. If anything that I say here resonate with you, that is good or uh, if you are in a journey to become more confident or become better version of yourself so if uh, this is your first time coming across my video hi welcome to my channel 
this is what I do. I love to encourage women to be the best version of themselves. You can help me out by liking and sharing and also press the subscribe button and you can be part of this community that we are growing. So thank you all for your support and I'll see you guys in the next one.